Hello, my name is Kweku. I'm a pharmacist. Today, I want to discuss five natural or dietary supplements that could be game changers for prostate health, specifically for an enlarged prostate or BPH as we call it medically. Now, this may be especially beneficial for people who cannot tolerate or do not want to take conventional medications for any number of reasons. I'll examine the science behind these supplements, explore how they work, and reveal studies that back up some of the claims of these potential benefits. Now, the first I have on my list is beta cetosterol. Now, beta cetosterol is a natural compound found in various plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. It is a phytosterol, which is a plant-based compound structurally similar to cholesterol. Now, beta cetosterol is particularly known for its potential benefits in improving urinary symptoms associated with an enlarged prostate. The way beta cetosterol is thought to help with BPH symptoms is not completely understood, but it is believed to work by reducing inflammation in the prostate and inhibiting the production of what we call prostaglandins, which are compounds involved in the inflammatory process. Additionally, beta cetosterol may help block the accumulation of cholesterol in the prostate, which is thought to somewhat contribute to the growth of the prostate. Now, several studies have supported the use of beta cetosterol in managing BPA symptoms. A double blind study published in July 2020 by BMC Urology found that men who took saw palmetto oil enriched with beta cetosterol daily for 12 weeks, experienced a reduction in urinary symptoms such as improved urine flow and decreased residual urine volume, which means that there was less urine left in the bladder after urination. Now, this brings me directly into my next supplement, which is sal palmetto. Now, sal palmetto has a long history of use in traditional medicine, particularly in Native American medicine and early 20th century treatments for urinary tract issues. The natural chemical composition of salt palmetto, which includes uh, free fatty acids like uh, lauric acid, uh, phytosterol, such as beta cetosterol, is believed to contribute to its therapeutic effect, particularly through three main pathways. The first one is the hormonal impact. Now, salt palmetto is believed to inhibit the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, which is a hormone that is associated with prostate enlargement. So by reducing the levels of dihydrotestosterone, salt palmetto could help prevent or reduce the growth of the prostate. The second effect is its anti-inflammatory effects, which helps to reduce swelling and discomfort in the prostate. The third mechanism is what we refer to as anti-proliferative effects. Now, the proliferation of cells refers to the process by which cells divide and multiply, leading to an increase in the number of cells. Salt palmetto may help slow down this process, which could potentially reduce the size of the prostate. Now, interestingly, supporting evidence for the use of salt palmetto in the management of BPH is not necessarily a slam dunk. While some studies suggest modest benefits in reducing BPH symptoms, such as improved urinary flow and reduced nighttime urination, others found no significant advantage over placebo treatment. So case in point, two large high quality studies funded by the National Institute of Health reported no significant difference between salt palmetto treatment and a placebo. Now, despite these mixed research results, salt palmetto is still a popular supplement among those seeking alternative treatments for BPH. This is because its use is generally considered safe with few reported side effects, making it a viable option for men you know, looking to manage mild prostate symptoms without the use of conventional medications, especially if the side effects of these medications cannot be tolerated. I guess people look at it through the lens of, you know, a low risk and a potential high reward. The next I have on my list is pumpkin seed oil. Now, pumpkin seed oil has been found to have potential benefits in managing the symptoms of BPH. This is due to its ability to regulate hormones as it contains compounds that can inhibit an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. Now, inhibiting this enzyme can help to reduce the levels of dihydrotestosterone, which as I've already mentioned, is linked to prostate enlargement. So you reduce dihydrotestosterone and consequently the prostate doesn't get an opportunity to become enlarged. Additionally, pumpkin seed oil's anti-inflammatory properties may help to alleviate prostate inflammation, which is a key aspect of BPH progression. Also, the high zinc content in pumpkin seed oil also supports prostate health 
and can address zinc deficiency, which is typically associated with BPH. Now, a study was conducted to examine the effect of pumpkin seed extract on symptoms associated with BPH over a 12-week period. The study focused on symptoms such as difficulty urinating, frequent nighttime urination, and leftover uh, urine after voiding. Now, the results indicated significant improvements in overall prostate health, you know, quality of life, and a reduction in nighttime urination and leftover urine after voiding. The fourth I have on my list is Pygium. Now, Pygium is an herbal supplement derived from the back of the African plum tree, you know, scientifically known as Prunus africana, which is native to Central and Southern Africa. It has been used traditionally for various ailments, including especially urinary issues. The active components in pygium are thought to include phytosterols, triterpenes, and uh, ferulic acid. These substances have the potential to reduce inflammation in the prostate, regulate hormone levels, hinder the growth of prostate cells, and enhance bladder function. Now, clinical studies on pygium have shown mixed results, but some research suggests that men taking pyogenic extract may experience reduction in BPH symptoms, uh, including improved urinary flow and decreased nighttime urination. However, most studies suggest that pyogenic is more effective when used over a longer period, and the benefits may not be as immediate as those from conventional pharmaceutical treatments. But then again, it's always an option to try if you are not able to tolerate these conventional treatments. Also worth noting is that pyogenic is collected from the wild, and is not cultivated. It is listed as being endangered as an endangered species in some directories due to potential overuse. So for this reason, uh, some manufacturers refuse to carry or make it. So I thought I would mention that you know if that kind of thing is uh, is important to you. The next on my list is nettle root. Now nettle root, scientifically known as Urtica dioica, is a flowering plant widely recognized for its therapeutic applications in alternative medicine, particularly for its anti-inflammatory and pain-reducing properties. It is rich in plant compounds that exhibit strong antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial effects, making it a, a popular ingredient in supplements aimed at addressing urinary tract and bladder infections. Now, although research is not exhaustive, several limited animal and human studies have suggested that nettle root may alleviate um, lower urinary tract symptoms associated with BPH. One notable study involved 558 adult men with symptomatic BPH who were administered 120 milligrams of nettle root extract three times daily. Now, over six months, this group reported a significant improvement in symptoms compared to those who received a placebo. Well, this suggests that nettle root could be a beneficial supplement for men experiencing BPH symptoms. I sincerely hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. On your screen is another video that would help you with respect to good prostate health. Stay blessed and catch you on the next video.